The Songwriters Hall of Fame has 14 new members today after a two-year pandemic pause. Long Island's own Mariah Carey is part of this year's class. And other inductees include the Isley Brothers, Pharrell Williams, and the Eurythmics, just to name a few. CBS 2's Elise Finch caught up with several of the inductees on the red carpet. The red carpet at the Marriott Marquis was filled with some of the music industry's biggest stars. In spite of their many accomplishments, some of this year's inductees to the Songwriters Hall of Fame are still processing the fact that they're now part of this elite group. It's overwhelming because all these guys are just off the charts. And now you're one of them. <laughs> well, it, it feels really great. This is a crazy room. I mean, I, I just can't believe we're even in here. Like, we should be serving people. The only thing Pharrell Williams is serving is an acceptance speech. He and Chad Hugo are performers, but also a writing and producing duo known as the Neptunes. They may be the youngest in this year's class, but their songwriting is top notch. You make me wanna the Isley Brothers more than meet that criteria. Well, you know, with everybody doing our songs for, for 65 years, yes. Since being established in 1969, there have been fewer than 500 people inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame. So it's a big deal, even for veteran songwriters like William Mickey Stevenson, who co-wrote Dancing in the Streets. I couldn't believe it because I never imagined anything like that happening to me. Most of this year's inductees are also recording artists, so they're no strangers to being honored. But they say being recognized for their songwriting is extra special. It's an extraordinary sort of completion of a long journey throughout our lives. You know, we are both music makers and we are both songwriters, and we've lived the journey. Sweet dreams are made. Superstar Mariah Carey rounded out this year's group of inductees. She didn't walk the red carpet, but she was front and center to receive her award from friend and musician Quest Love. She joked about constantly being referred to as a diva singer. With this honor, Carey wants people to always remember she's also an elite songwriter. Elise Finch, CBS 2 News. Going back in time, now only songwriters with a notable catalog of songs can qualify for induction into the Songwriters Hall of Fame. Even though then, though, listen to this, they're not eligible until 20 years after the first significant commercial release of those songs, they make them wait. <laughs>